In this video, we'll take a look at how to install and then configure the Microsoft Threat and Vulnerability Management Solution with ServiceNow Vulnerability Response. To begin, you'll want to visit store.servicenow.com and then search for Microsoft TVM. This will bring you to the page that you see on the screen. Click on Get, and it will prompt you to log in and then select the instance that you wish to download the integration to. Once that's done, you can log into your instance and start the configuration process. Let's take a look at what that looks like right now. To begin, let's look at the ServiceNow Vulnerability Response Setup Assistant and ensure that we have installed the Microsoft Threat and Vulnerability Management integration properly. We'll do so by clicking on Integration Application Installation, and it will show you all of the currently installed applications for vulnerability response integration. And we can see Microsoft Threat and Vulnerability Management does show that it's installed. Next, we'll move on to the actual configuration for the scanner. To do so, we'll click on Scanner Integrations, and it will show you all of the currently installed scanners. We'll select the Microsoft Threat and Vulnerability Management, and we see that we have one active integration. If we wish to add additional integrations, we can click the Add Integration button. But for now, let's just take a look at this particular integration. Here, we'll need some information from Microsoft, including the region, authentication type, tenant ID, client ID, and client secret, all of which can be found on your Microsoft instance. Once you've completed this, let's move on to the actual configuration for this integration. The first thing that we'll do is we'll enable vulnerabilities import and set a schedule for it. Now we have a daily schedule, but if you'd like to set it to weekly or monthly, you can do so, as well as the time. You can also select how far back you want to import vulnerabilities from. And if you want to import vulnerabilities immediately, just click the Import Vulnerabilities Now button. Next, we need to ensure that Enable Recommendations Import is selected. So we'll enable that and set the schedule for that as well as the time. And we'll want to make sure that as we're importing different items from Microsoft Threat and Vulnerability Management, that we're not doing them all at the same time. You want to make sure that they're cascaded so as one completes, the next one will start. And again, if you'd like to import your recommendations immediately, you can do so by clicking the Import Recommendations Now button. Next, let's take a look at the machine's import configuration. Similarly to the previous examples, you can select how often you'd like to import your machine information from Microsoft, as well as selecting the time. And you can set how far back you'd like to import machine information and device inventory from Microsoft Threat and Vulnerability Management from. You can also set up configuration item lookup rules. These rules will help match the information imported about devices from Microsoft with configuration items in the ServiceNow CMDB. You can see that we have some configured already. If you'd like to add more lookup rules, you can just do so by clicking on New. And again, if you want to do a machine import immediately, just click the Import Machines Now button. And finally, for importing information about the vulnerabilities on machines, you can do so by configuring a few different options. First is enabling machine vulnerability delta import. This will import vulnerabilities that have appeared since the last scan import. As well, you can select when a full import is done. And here we can see that it's set to weekly. But if you want to do it daily or monthly, you can do that as well. You can also select the date and time that this import takes place. Once this is done, click Finish. Now we have a fully configured Microsoft Threat and Vulnerability Management integration. Let's take a look at an example of some imported data. 
here's some scan data that's been imported and ingested by ServiceNow Vulnerability Response. And we can tell that the source is Microsoft Threat and Vulnerability Management by looking at the source field. It shows that these are from Microsoft. Now, if we look at one of the vulnerability groups that's created off of one of these individual vulnerable items, you'll see some additional information, such as the risk rating and risk score. These show not only how risky the vulnerabilities are, but also how important they are to the specific business based on information about the individual configuration items. So we're looking at the business context, not just the vulnerability itself. You can see the remediation target, as well as the re remediation status, and who this vulnerability group was automatically assigned to. Now, vulnerability groups are work tasks that are assigned to individuals or groups based on some pre-configured items. For example, in this case, this vulnerability group was created because the vulnerable items all have the same vulnerability. And we can see that there are only two in this particular example, but they have been assigned to the vulnerability admin group to remediate. That was a quick look at the integration between ServiceNow Vulnerability Response and Microsoft Threat and Vulnerability Management. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at servicenow.com. Thank you.